when disasters strike, whether they are natural, accidental, or man-made. It has always been vital that they be reported accurately and in a timely fashion to those who may be in danger. It is the policy of the United States to have an effective, reliable, integrated, flexible, and comprehensive system to alert and warn the American people. The Integrated Public Alert and Warning System, or IPAWS, is the solution for effective public alerts and warnings. IPAWS allows alerting authorities to write their own message using open standards. The message is then authenticated by the IPAWS Open Platform for Emergency Networks, or OPEN, to be delivered simultaneously through multiple pathways, reaching as many people as possible to save lives and protect property. IPAWS must ensure that the President can reach the American people, but it recognizes that most alerts and warnings are issued at a state and local level. IPAWS alerts and warnings are location specific and therefore more relevant to those receiving the alert. And through the use of open standards, such as the Common Alert Protocol, IPAWS allows for growth and integration with future consumer technologies. How do alerting authorities send an alert or warning to IPAWS open? In addition to the president, alerting authorities include state, local, territorial and tribal public safety officials who are designated within their level of government as an authority responsible for communicating emergency alerts and warnings to the public. After completing FEMA-sponsored training, alerting authorities will be authenticated for access to IPAWS. They will then be able to use common alerting protocol compliant emergency and incident management tools to create location-specific alerts that are scaled to cover areas as big as their entire jurisdiction or much smaller areas within their jurisdiction. Once created, the alert will then be sent to IPAWS Open. How is an alert routed by IPAWS Open? Once the alert is received from the alerting authorities, IPAWS Open authenticates the source and validates that the alert input conforms to the Common Alerting Protocol standard and IPAWS profile. This provides a standard for everyone across all levels of government as well as the private sector. While older systems relied on audio and text-only systems, IPAWS Open makes picture and video feeds possible and allows for the seamless incorporation of emerging technologies. Once the alert message has been authenticated by IPAWS Open, the message is simultaneously delivered to all IPAWS compliant public alerting systems. Emergency alerts will be delivered across multiple pathways to the American people. Alerts will be delivered by the emergency alert system using AM, FM and satellite radio as well as broadcast, cable and satellite TV. The commercial mobile alert system will send alerts to cell phones and other commercial mobile network devices based on their location, even if cellular networks are overloaded and can no longer support calls, text and emails. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will deliver alerts through the National Weather Service All Hazards Radio. Alerts will be available on the Internet through web-based applications such as email, instant messaging, and RSS feeds in any web browser. State, local, territorial, and tribal alerting systems such as emergency telephone networks, giant voice sirens, and digital road signs may also receive alerts from iPaws Open. And future alerting technologies and systems can easily be integrated into iPaws. When disaster strikes, IPAWS allows emergency managers and alerting authorities at all levels to send one message to more people through multiple pathways to save lives and protect property. No matter where you are, at home, at school, at work, or even on vacation, you can get life-saving alerts. IPAWS, emergency alerts at the speed of life. Get alerts. Stay alive.